Welcome to The Freak Show, everyone. I am extremely excited to report to you that Ryan Murphy has freed the theme for season seven. So, fair warning to you guys, if you do not want to be spoiled on season seven of American Horror Story, don't watch any further. Mm -hmm. American Horror Story news? Well, I don't have a title, uh, but the, uh, the season that we begin shooting in June is going to be about the election that we just went through. So I think that will be interesting for a lot of people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That, wow. Okay, let's go to Paula from Char Will there be like a Trump in it? Uh, maybe. Okay, guys, Paula. so hit me with your thoughts on this season in the comments below. I am dying to know what you all thought. Now, I understand in the last video, I informed you guys that I thought that he was talking about our emotions. But today, however, I, or excuse me, thanks to a fellow fan and subscriber, Omar King, he's forwarded me that video and I was able to get verification on, you know, this year's theme. Now, my first actual instinct, which I must say again, thank you so much again, Omar. My first instinct on this was disappointment. Much like Roanoke. Uh, you know, we've just had so much political crap in our faces lately. It just kind of seems like why ruin our beautiful American horror story with politics? Why do that? And then I saw this interview that I just uh, showed you guys, and I saw the determination in Ryan's face, and I've seen that look before. That's the look I had on my face way back in like 2011 when I started writing Murder by Alpha. Something just pissed me off to the point where I had to make a huge statement. And that's what pushed me to write the novel. I see the same thing in Ryan's face when I see this interview. Because if you guys remember, Ryan and the network executives of FX told us that this season's theme was going to be withheld. And a lot of you out there said then that we weren't going to get the theme at Paley Fest. It was going to be held until the premiere because Ryan and the studios led you to believe it. They even led me to believe it. I doubted myself sometimes. But then Ryan starts doing press this week and he says, we've just started writing. Well, he says to E! News, we've just started writing. We have no idea what we're gonna do about marketing. We haven't talked about it yet. All I know is, is that Sarah and Evan are the leads and that's all I'm gonna tell people. Nobody else knows anything and it's gonna be secretive. And then the next day he comes out and he tells people, nope, season seven is gonna be about politics. It's going to be about the election that just happened here in 2016. And that surprised me because that's a big jump. And that's why I made the video yesterday letting you guys know that, no, I don't think it's politics. I think it's just Ryan just saying that about our feelings. And no, he just jumped right out in this show and just said, nope, this is the theme, it's gonna be this. And now we don't know exact details, but my assumption is that Michael from Murder House, little Michael Langdon, or not Langdon, excuse me. I mean, I guess he would be little Michael since he was, <laughs> spoiler, he was Tate's son, we think, we guess, I assume he was. Anyway, so I would assume that little Michael Langdon is basically running for office in season seven. That's my assumption. And remember guys, Ryan also told us that we were going to get some of the freaks from Freak Show and the season is gonna be modern. So it, it, now that we know more that it's aimed politically wise, 
now that we also know that the freak show uh, characters, some of them are going to be included, and we know the basis of things now, we can kind of get a general assumption of what's going to happen. I would assume then at this point that um, Evan Peters will be playing the the main uh, antagonist, which at my, in my assumption that's we Michael. Can definitely Langdon. do a video next time, guys, in regards to speculations and assumptions of what this season is going to be about. Those are just my first thoughts. But when I saw the passion and the fire in Ryan's eyes in this interview, and how it seems that Ryan has changed lately in his interviews. And I think personally, personally, I think the reason why that he revealed all this information to us is that somebody pissed him off. Because I know somebody sure shit pissed me off to make Murder by Alpha and to push the publishing data. I see the same thing happening to Ryan Murphy and it just makes me feel like I have so much shared emotions with him. Think about it. Last season, Remember guys, in the summertime, all of us were calling him, oh my God, he's the devil. Why don't he just, why doesn't he just free the theme? And then weird, it's less than a year later and I feel like he's my kindred God, soul brother. That specific interview that Omar posted for me on Twitter, I just knew that, you know, uh, that this was the right move. And I am extremely excited for this season, guys. I can't wait to see what they do with it. So again, please tell me what your comments are below. Don't forget, guys, that Beyond the Horror Murder House is tonight. Tonight, myself, Casey, and Maisie are reviewing episode five with you guys. So the link is already up in my channel and right here. So come meet us tonight at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time to talk Murder House. And guys, don't forget, you can certainly get a hold of Mother Supreme on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All of it at Mary Girl Moody. So drop me a note, send me a tweet, and Thank follow me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for all the information that you send me. Again, I am in hardcore edits right now with my book due to the fact that it is coming out in two months and five days. <laughs> so I am panicking over here. Uh, in a great, in a great way though, in a very happy way. So thank you all so much for having my back, for watching the video and for supporting the channel. You are all amazing. Can't wait to make another video and to see what else Ryan Murphy has to say. Bye guys. Mm -mm.